So, Volvo, good car, V70, nice engine, if a bit weird, but the wheel rims tend to leak a lot. So I've got a problem with the rear ones, rear ones leak a lot. So you want to fix them? There's only really one way to do it. Right, so these are the tyres. And these are the rims that were on it. I put a spare pair of rims. Why do I have a spare pair of rims? Well, that's a very good question. Right, so these are the standard wheels you get with the Volvo. And there's two places that they seem to corrode that may or may not matter to you. First bit is in here. In all these, that one's actually not as bad. This one's pretty awful. I don't know if you can see that. But you see it's pretty badly corroded there. It doesn't affect the use of it at all, but it's um, just ugly. Uh, now, Volvo were pretty cheap with these inside. This is after Volvo got bought by Ford. So inside, they didn't even paint this. It's not obvious here, but this was all grey. And that bit still is grey. Uh, they didn't paint that silver. Um, I've had other rims where they paint the whole thing. You know, rims are expensive usually. I guess you can sort of get away with it. Uh, it depends on the quality of the rest of the car, what you think of that. Right, so where it leaks, I'm just going to turn this fan off. Oh boy, that's loud. Must have been just about to turn off anyway. Um, it's a nice sunny day and for obvious reasons I've got, uh, I've got the rims in here because you're trying to get them to cure off the paint. You know, it's just cellular spray paint I used out of a can. Um, the bit where the action, that the corrosion actually matters is this here. Um, if I just uh, turn it like that, you can see what I've done. So you get sandpaper, you take the tires off. I went to the local tire man, Mr. Tire, in the town where I live. And you take the um, rubber off, first of all. There's the tires, you take the tires off. Left of the rims, and then you've got a, I laid it on a table outside, and you just keep sanding, very coarse grade, decent, strong, uh, grade paper wet and dry or whatever it is and you keep sanding that until the corrosion and it'll be quite hard because it's anodized aluminium and crusty salts off the road and stuff a reaction that forms um, you keep sanding it till it's smooth then when you get down it's it's down to the metal when you get down to the metal then you paint it with silver paint I mean I've got silver rims if you've got other color rims then fine you paint it with silver paint and then you um, put the lacquer the clear lacquer over the top and probably use quite a bit of silver paint, but certainly you use probably more lacquer than paint almost. But um, and, and I put tape around this one. What I did was, if I put this down, I put tape so there's just around the rim there. So you may not be able to see it, but there is actually a difference. But you do it at a point where the light catches or where the light changes how it catches. So my tape, when just the edge of it went all the way around there, just where the, the rim curves. And then on the other side, I did it, for the Volvo did, I did it um, just to that groove in there. So quite often they put the weights here, if they're balancing your wheels. Now I have seen people, I, I've seen this before, which amazed me and I complained about it. Sometimes they actually stick the weights there. I don't know why you'd do that, when you've got a huge massive rim inside that doesn't get seen. Stupid. You don't buy alloy wheels, the big weights on them on the outside. Uh, that's it really. So that's what you got to do. Once that's smooth and shiny, I mean now that's smooth and shiny, I'll take it back to the um, tire man and he'll put the tires back on. And it's it's the lumpy bumpiness of that that causes the problem. And you can see on here, there's some little marks here and there where the corrosion has kind of tried to attach the rubber or whatever. You can see a little bit there. That's not the tire, that's the corrosion bits and pieces. Um, so that's what that is. There's not a chunk there. It's, it's just with a crew. I'll have to just scrub it a little bit more, perhaps. But it's this bit here where the seal forms, and that that notches into here, the concave bit on the wheel. You get silver paint everywhere. I look like I've been trying to apply silver nail varnish, but I promise you, I haven't. Uh, that's it. Uh, so that's how to sort the leaking wheels and. Uh, what you need is a wheelbarrow to dip it in 
This is how I found out it was the rims that were leaking. Because you stick it in a wheelbarrow full of water. And I discovered, I expect the valve to be leaking, you see. But... So I just filled wheelbarrow full of water and you just put it in and you just keep moving it around and you find out it's the rim that way. That's it.